Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I'm forever telling people if they're going to use Google Photos on their phone, either iPhone or Samsung, that they should stop using the native app that came with their phone for photos. They always ask, what do you mean? Why? In this video, I want to answer those questions the iPhone. So this is Google Photos. This is the Photos app that came with the iPhone. You had to download Google Photos from the App Store. Let's open up Google Photos and notice that there are four buttons at the bottom. Photos, Search, Sharing, and Library. It also says Google Photos at the top, but you won't see that if you start scrolling around and doing other things. In the Apple, I call that the Apple Photos, the native app that came with it. It looks different. It has a date up at the top left. It still has four menus, but those are different menus. When you open a photo, it has an edit button at the top, unlike the buttons that are in Google Photos. So here's my question. If you go to the camera and open a photo, what app are you looking at? I can even go to all photos and you should recognize this is the Apple Photos. There are three main reasons I think it's important to know whether you're using Apple Photos or Google Photos. First of all, they each have their own editing tools. So if you're looking for Magic Eraser, but you're in Apple Photos, you're not going to find it. Deleting. If you're in Apple Photos, it's going to delete from the phone and from iCloud, but it won't be deleted from Google Photos. And if you make an album using Apple Photos, you're not going to see that album in Google Photos. So it's important to know which app you're using. So what should you do to look at a picture when you take a photo? So I think it's important to be using Google Photos all the time if you're going to use Google Photos. So I'm going to take a photo of my favorite hat. Now I want to look at that photo. I am not going to tap the miniature in the corner because that's going to open Apple Photos. I'm going to go back out home and open Google Photos. And there it is. And now I know that I'm using all the Google Photos tools when I'm working with this picture.